This is a quick tutorial on how to calculate ratios for the functional skills. Now, there's a couple of different types of ratio questions that you might get during the functional skills test. I'm just going to go through the first one now and then we can have a look at the other one straight afterwards. Right. So, the first kind of question we'll get is to split an amount of money between a either a couple of people or maybe even three or four. For this one we're just going to use two people though because the technique is always the same. So what we've got is we've got 150 pounds and we're going to share this between Jack and James. Now and we're going to share this at 6 to 4 ratio. Now the first thing we need to look at are these two dots in between the numbers. Now as soon as you see those between two numbers you can automatically tell yourself that this is a ratio question. Even if it doesn't say ratio in the question that's what it's going to be asking for. Now the be first thing we've got to do is to understand what these mean. So what this basically means is that Jack is getting six parts of this money. Now we don't know how much one part is worth yet but we know that Jack's getting six parts and we know that James is going to be getting four parts. So the first thing we have to do is to work out how much one part is worth before we can work out how much they get. And to do this there's a couple fairly easy steps to get us started. So the first thing we have to do is to add all the parts together. So for us it's just the six parts that Jack's got and the four parts that James has got which equals ten. Now, don't get me wrong, for this one it's fairly simple to work that out, but you might have one that's got three or four different people, but the technique is still the same. Just add all the parts together, and that will work out the total parts that we have. So that's the total amount of parts that we've got. So the next step, step two, is to divide our total amount of money, so for us £150, and divide that by the total amount of parts we've got. Now it is important to remember we are allowed a calculator for these tests all the time, so don't try and do these in your head, you can more than happy to use a calculator. So what this is now telling us is that one part is equal to £15. So, if Jack's after six parts, what do you think we're going to have to do next? So, what we're going to have to do is multiply our one part by how many parts we're looking for. So, in the case of Jack, we're looking for six parts. So, again, same kind of thing. We've already got a 15 up. Multiply it by six, and we get 90. So that shows us straight away how much money Jack is getting. £90 out of the 150 Now we can go along and do the same thing for James. Except this time we're going to be multiplying it by 4 because James gets 4 parts of it. Again, go back to your calculator if it's needed. 15 multiplied by your 4 is equal to 60. So there, you've worked out how, many, how much money each of these people get. Now, one way to just double check that you've got the right answer is to add both of these together. Because by adding them together, you should always end up back with the original amount of money. So for us, 150. If it doesn't get back to the original amount of money, you can automatically tell that you've made a mistake in there somewhere. So that's the first type of question that we look at. The second type of question we look at is something something along these lines. So say, go with the same names, keep the same names. So Jack has 24 pounds and he shared that shared with James Uh, 
a 2 to 8 ratio. So what we're essentially saying with this is that Jack has got two parts and that is equal to 24 pounds. So how much money is James going to get from this? Again, there's a couple of fairly easy steps that we can take just to kind of work this out. So the first step we have to do is to divide the amount of money that Jack has got by the amount of parts that he's got. So in his case, two. So this again is telling us how much one part is worth. Because we've divided his total amount by the amount of parts he's got. So we now know that one, pound, uh, one part sorry, is equal to 12 pounds. So if James is after eight parts, we can do the same thing again. We can do your eight multiplied by 12. So again, remember you can use your calculator for this, which gives us 96 pounds. Now if you wanted to know how much money they had in total to start with the sharing, there's one last step we can do. So what we can do is multiply your one part, so in our case 12, and multiply it by the total amount of parts. So as we've already seen in the last, vi in the last part of the video, we do that by adding all the parts together. So in our case 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So we can do your 12 multiplied by 10. Again, bring back your calculator if it's needed, which shows us that the total amount they had to share between them was £120. And that is the end of the ratio questions. Thank you.